So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. Aha, I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great, that's all I needed. Let's take a closer look. by the shape, I'd say the Criollo cocoa beans, the chocolate of the Mayas, the rarest of the beans. Some even say they're an aphrodisiac. When a product is in fashion, people attribute all sorts of virtues to it, not to be given to animals. Dark chocolate beans, very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Come in handy. Now, now, what have we got here? Well, it looks like a model, a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. This painting isn't finished. Well, it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but you can't exactly say it's been done in the style of the period. Hey, there are two dates on this painting. 1154 AD and 5154 AL. History of the First Crusades by Pierre Amédée de la Salle. Strange. All the dates are all wrong. They indicate events that took place in the year 5000 and something? Wait, did I miss something? The Crusades took place not long after the year 1000. Here all the dates say 5000 and something. I'm guessing this dating system begins 4,000 years before the calendar that we use. Yet, I'm getting the feeling that there's something else, another small detail, but, but what is it? Or, how Louis VII, King of France, eager to be pardoned for the death of thousands of innocent people in the fire of the Church of Vitry convinces the Pope to authorize him to lead his own crusade. The result, in Germany, a new outburst of violence against the Jewish community, and a monumental fiasco by poor Louis VII, cuckolded by his wife's uncle. The author is Pierre Amade de la Salle, none other than the Grand Master of the Masonic Lodge of Paris. 
Now I understand why the dates are offset. He's using dates based on the Analusis, year zero of the Masonic calendar, by adding 4,000 years to the Gregorian calendar. But I thought that that calendar starts in March. Painting depicting the Third Crusade. It's titled Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre. The Siege of Saint Jean d'Acre was a major conflict during the Third Crusade. Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus fought to take the town back. It was the Crusaders' first operation to take back the Kingdom of Jerusalem. William Alexander Mortimer I, the twelfth month of Anna Lucis, 5,190. That's a funny date. That date in 5,000 is something again. Hmm. I wonder what in the world it means. A bird. Tell me the door code. Well, Waldo, is your master good? Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Waldo. Tell me the door code. Here I am talking to a bird. Shame on me. complex mechanism. Hmm. Looks like the third ring is a bit seized up. It gets stuck on number nine. I thought I was close. 1,190. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4,000? I must have missed a subtlety. says of me.
Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. Shows the forces present in Africa. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like there are also many unknowns, even for Mortimer. Moreover, it shows a fair number of sea voyages being organized towards the American continent. <laughs> no doubt with slaves. How many men are broken in this trade? Tens of thousands each year, according to what people say. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Giham Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. And goes on, There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. <laughs> the author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way, is he? This shows the forces present in America. Some of those forces are pushing toward the west. On it, Mortimer's placed little feather symbols at different points toward which the Spanish are headed. Could he be fueling Indian resistance to slow down Spain? the forces present in Europe, it's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. It looks like a campaign is being prepared in France in favor of Italy. Could Mortimer have decided to finance a war? Locked. A fine looking map of the Orient, indeed. my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but, but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a 
decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. Something strange about this table. What kind of experiments does Mortimer carry out here? It's a dissection table. So Mortimer does autopsies. Here on his desert island. But... What was he doing autopsies on then? Looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. These are feathers. Pigeon, probably. A skeleton by the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by, Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. <laughs> That's morbid. pigeon messages. chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Am I seeing things or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. I didn't seem as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. It is a typical draw on a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance, that announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, a chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, the emperor evokes a future full of power and stability.
locked. Oh shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. It looks like the same as the one on the other side. The mechanism passes through the wall. The wheels are the same on both sides. Chances are the combination I used on the other side works on this side too. These cylinders rotate on the same central axis, so when I enter a number on one side, it corresponds to another one on the other side. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Whoa, whoa. If the grid closes a bit more every time I enter a wrong date, I'd, I'd better not mess up again. It doesn't seem to be working. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. The mechanism passes through the wall. The wheels are the same on both sides. Chances are the combination I used on the other side works on this side too. are stuck shit I'm cornered like a rat someone's coming Please don't let it be Mortimer. Who is it? Deliberately avoiding me. Four years ago I was his favorite, but nowadays I have to ask for an audience with his lordship. Damn it! It's Peru. I don't know if I should, but... Well, that's it! I've had enough of being humiliated! I'm wasting my time here. For everything I've done on his behalf, he dares treat me like a lackey? I've bled the Parisian elite for the sake of his whims, and what have I got to show for it? He doesn't even have the courtesy to give me five minutes of his time! I wanted to put my mind at ease. Well, that's done. I know what I've got to do now. I must find my mother. Uh, so much for discretion. Monsieur Peru, it's me, Monsieur de Riche. What the devil is going I on? I need your help. Where are you, Dariche? Behind the painting! Open it, please! I've shut myself in! 
There's a pedal under Lord Mortimer's desk. Can you see it? There's no... Hang on. Yes. Good. Now press it. Yeah, yeah. Done. You should see something resembling a frame with numbers. Yes? You have to turn them to set the combination. One, one, nine, one. Well, well. Poking our nose into Mortimer's little secrets, are we? You do surprise me. It's not what you're thinking. I'll explain everything. No, you will not, sir. It has nothing to do with me, and by the way, I never even saw you. So, I'll be on my way now. Thanks again. You had me trapped. Why not say anything? I would have wanted someone to open the door for me, too. And while it's too late for me, it may not be for you. I don't understand. I... Yeah. Goodbye. I've wasted enough time. I better get moving if I want to find my mother. <laughs> 